My journey with Dr. Samadhi was uh, quite an incredible one. When you understand, of course, being diagnosed with prostate cancer creates a lot of questions, a lot of fears, uh, a lot of mystery as well. You want to have the assurance that um, you have a physician and a surgeon who not only understands the whole procedure, but can kind of guide you through it and kind of put you at ease with it. I have to admit, I did a se uh, several different consultations with respect to my condition, and only after meeting with Dr. Samadhi that I really have the confidence that I'd be in the greatest of hands uh, and that I'd survive all this, that the cancer would be eliminated, the surgery would, would go with a great success, and uh, that's exactly what happened. What I liked about Dr. Samadhi the most is he made this a very effortless, uh, almost a routine uh, procedure. When you understand that you have cancer, uh, you want to make sure that the doctor, the oncologist, the urologist, everybody you're dealing with with respect to your condition uh, makes it uh, very easy to understand and to be comfortable with. So I was very, very comfortable after working with Dr. Samadhi that uh, he understood not just the medical condition, but the human condition as well. There's a lot of emotion that goes into being diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, he was one of the most amazing people to put me at ease to basically take away all my fears and to a certain extent uh, make the whole surgery itself seem like it's nothing just but a, a routine day for him, which it actually was. Dr. Samadhi's facility at the Lenox Hill Hospital um, just blew my mind away. Um, I literally felt like I was staying at the Four Seasons Hotel. Um, the Lenox Hill Hospital, it's in a great location. I, I live in Miami and I decided to have the surgery in New York. Um, and I wasn't quite expecting the amazing uh, recovery facility at the Lenox Hill Hospital. Dr. Samadhi has a section of the fifth floor at the hospital, and the moment you walk in, you just greet an amazing color. It, it feels like a hotel. It feels like this five-star service. Um, I thought the food, actually, I felt like a chef was preparing it for me. So. As a result of having a surgery like a prostatectomy, you know, the removal of a prostate isn't something that you uh, can anticipate, but the recovery part of it was quite easy. The facility made it a lot much easier. Uh, it was very much a welcoming place for my family that also came to visit me. And, uh, but I've never seen a hospital facility as, as beautiful and as uh, luxurious as uh, David Samadhi's wing at the Atlantic Hill Hospital. The office on Madison Avenue is quite extraordinary. It's the, it's the whole floor of, of the 21st floor, and uh, the moment you walk in, it's a very welcoming environment. It feels great. The staff is very, very friendly, and uh, they definitely understand. You know, sometimes when you visit a physician, the staff that work there, um, this is what they do every day. They sometimes forget that visiting a doctor can be a very emotional, a very trying experience. So the facility is uh, beautiful in itself, but the staff that work there, that greet you, that uh, work with you and with Dr. Samadhi, um, they make the experience uh, a real pleasurable one. They, they understand at every single moment of your visit what you're going through and the fact that you might have a lot of fear as to what's ahead of you, um, but that fear is quickly uh, mitigated and uh, you're made to feel very, very comfortable. Dr. Samadhi has one of the best teams and clinical staff, I think, in the business. Um, at the surgery center, for example, at the Lenox Hill Hospital, um, he's got a team that's been with him for many, many years. Uh, they know each other, they know how to work with each other. For myself being the patient, I felt immediately as soon as I got there that I had this, this group of people that would see through things perfectly from the very, very beginning of the surgery until the recovery. Um, I thank all of them with, with my, my deepest of warmth and, 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 and there's even love involved here because these are the people that saved my life. And um, as a result of their hard work, you know, at the helm, of course, Dr. Samadhi, but this team that, that backs him up uh, made it so that when I finished with the surgery, um, I was completely continent and um, I never really suffered from erectile dysfunction afterwards, which is really amazing because that's not too common out there. I'm absolutely thrilled and delighted with the outcome of my surgery. You know, the biggest fear for someone like myself, I'm 51 years old, 
um, I had this fear of, first of all, the, the fear of having cancer uh, is a tricky one and something you have to really kind of digest and, and absorb. But the fact is that after the surgery, there's always a fear of incontinence, there's a fear of erectile dysfunction, and I am absolutely thrilled to say that from day one, I had full continence. Um, erectile dysfunction has not been an issue whatsoever. And um, I think you have to also come to realize that when you're gonna, when you're gonna go through a robotic, a robotic procedure to have your prostate removed, it's the surgeon that really makes all the difference and the surgeon's team. So because of Dr. Samadhi, uh, I emerged from the surgery 100%. Um, I'm about five months post-surgery right now, and I have 100% of my life back together. It's as if nothing ever happened. So uh, if anyone asks me, am I happy with the outcome? The big answer is, you betcha. If I had any friends or family that were diagnosed with prostate cancer, uh, Dr. Samadhi would be the only choice uh, of any physician in the world, quite frankly. There's a lot of great urologists and oncologists out there. Uh, the big difference is a lot of them are inexperienced. A lot of them don't have the number of surgeries. David Samadhi at this point has over 7,000 uh, robotic surgeries to treat prostate cancer, um, which is what I had, of course. Um, and he's my number one choice. And I continue to talk about him to everybody that I meet, everybody I talk to, uh, every male friend of mine who's over the age of 40, I ask them to please have a PSA test, and I ask them to please visit Dr. Samadhi if that PSA is running about four or higher. So he's the absolute best in his field, hands down. My message to all men out there of all ages is once you've hit the age of 40, you must have your PSA tested. If your PSA score is running about four and above, it's really the time to speak to a urologist, talk about what that means to you. Um, if you happen to be in New York City, or even if you're outside of New York City, go visit Dr. David Samadhi. This is really his field. But the greater message that I want to give all the gentlemen out there is the fact that if you are diagnosed with prostate cancer, it's not the end of your life, it's not the end of your world. Prostate cancer, it's a slow killer. Um, it's virtually undetectable in the sense that you don't feel that you have it. But if it's caught early enough, there are several methods that can be used to uh, take care of the problem. Uh, if you're young, in your 50s like I am, you probably want to have your prostate removed entirely and that will get rid of all the cancer. But I think it's important to also note that this does not change your life. Um, I'm about five months post-surgery now. I have my whole life back together. It's as if nothing ever happened. The surgery itself was almost a breeze. You're up on your feet the same day, and you're back at work within about a week. So there's really no net change to your life. Um, on the other hand, if you wait and prolong things, um, the cancer can spread, and it can spread to other parts of your body. So the big question is, do you really want to take that risk? Um, I chose to have my prostate removed, and I'm now cancer-free 100%. I've had my PSA test done two times in surgery. They came back at zero, which I'm very, very thrilled about. And uh, I have my life back completely. Uh, I'm looking forward to another 40, 50 years if I'm lucky. And uh, the cancer's gone. That's now part of my history. And so don't hesitate. Um, but I would suggest that you consult with Dr. David Somadi for anything related to prostate cancer, especially if you're diagnosed anywhere in the world, anywhere in the country. Come to New York, it's worth it. You're in the very, very best of hands.